Hi everybody, I thought I would share with you this really fun way to grow strawberries and what we're going to be growing them in is this rain gutter. Now I got a lot of strawberries so I'm not going to cut this but you could cut this down to as big as you want it. So I just got the full size one and I'm going to use this whole rain gutter for my strawberries. Now all you really have to do is cap the ends and we're going to do that and then you got to flip it over and drill a few holes in the bottom for a little bit drainage holes and that's about it so and then I'll show you how to do the uh, planting in here and how that works okay here's my end cap piece and I'm just gonna put this on the end of my rain gutter and they just slide in I don't you could glue it on if you want to or you could just slide it in okay and that's that and do the same on the other end so you have both sides closed they go in pretty good just like this so I'm not gonna glue them I'm fine with that okay now you got to put the drain holes in the bottom Okay, now I flipped it over and I got a drill here and I just put a fairly large drill bit on here. This one is 1364. But any size will do as long as it leaves at least about a pinky size or more hole for the drilling part. What you want to do is for every about a foot, you're going to put a hole. So just go all the way down doing that. Just one hole every foot. There you go. Okay, I go. I went and put all my drain holes in here. You can see. Now we're going to flip it over and do the fun part inside. Okay, I want to mention this first. And before you get it all planted like I did, you want to make sure you put on these brackets before you put the end caps on and filling it up otherwise you, you could do it at the end but then you have to squeeze it over your plants and it makes it a little bit harder so if you do it first get the brackets on your rain gutter then you won't have that problem now we're going to fill it up with um, a little bit of straw and then a little bit topsoil a little bit of straw a little bit of topsoil like that that's going to be the mixture and then we just put our plants in here now for the drain hole the plant is about the same so um for every one foot, you can put one plant. So one plant, one plant, like that. So about where the drain hole is, you should put your plant for each one. And then you won't have to worry too much water logging or anything. And it should be perfect. So let's get started filling it up. Okay, that's the straw layer, and now we're going to fill it up with the topsoil layer. Okay, I finished loading up the tray with the topsoil layer, and now we're going to put in our plants. Okay, here's my first one. I'm going to go ahead and get that in the tray. Got a lot of extra stuff with it from the strawberry patch, but it should be good. Okay, so you want to just kind of get it in there below the crown or at the crown exactly. And don't worry if it's not enough dirt, we're going to put another layer on top of this. But you got to get your berries in there first. Okay, that's looking Beautiful. Do the next one. Uh huh. Okay.
Okay, now I have all the berries planted, so we're just going to go back and put a little bit more topsoil around them to make sure that all the roots got covered up. Make sure you don't go above that crown, but just make sure all the roots are covered in soil. And go through all your strawberries like that. Okay, all my strawberries are good. Now I'm going to just go ahead and put a layer of the straw on top so that it will keep the moisture in when I'm watering them and I won't have to water them so much. Okay, I filled it up with the hay now around each of the plants and they're looking happy. Now for the fun part, we get to hang this up. So wherever you want to hang it up is up to you. I'm going to hang it right below my solar panels and the benefit of having these things there's so many benefits one of them is you can easily see the babies because they're gonna be hanging off the side and also the strawberries will hang off the side and they look really pretty and it won't get any rodents eating them they won't rot on the ground because you can see them under the leaves they'll just all be hanging off easy to pick easy to find it be and they look beautiful so Go ahead and give this a try. I'm going to go hang it up now and you can see how that works. Okay, I did it. I have nailed them up here. Each of those brackets has their own nail. So I put four brackets here to hold them up. There's the other one. And they have one on each of the ends. And they're right here below my solar panel. So it should look awesome when they start to hang little berries off. <clears throat> so. They should be growing fantastic. I can't wait to see them start growing because uh, this way you'll be able to definitely monitor how well they're doing much easier. You can give them more hay or nutrients, whatever you can tell much easier this way. And uh, you'll definitely be able to see the and harvest the berries much better like this. So go ahead and try it and let me know how yours turns out. Bye for now.